All righty. So we have some interesting news coming out of Cedar Point for 2020. Um, Cedar Point is getting ready to celebrate its 150th anniversary. For those of you that don't know, again, my channel has a lot of diverse people from around the world, including those that aren't familiar with theme parks and roller coasters from around the world. So Cedar Point's getting ready to celebrate its 150th anniversary, and things are really starting to get weird. So it looks like Cedar Point is looking at ways to bring back retro items. In a tweet from Tony Clark on Twitter, um, you can see that he's and the team are asking for input about what kind of food items you would like to uh, see return to Cedar Point. Not only that, there's a recent article, which I'll link down below, that was released. Um, so the article from WKYC3 um, has got some interesting quotes about Cedar Point's 150th anniversary. We're going to discuss these, and then we're going to talk about what might happen at Cedar Point in 2020. And then I want you guys to comment down below, what kind of things would you like to see return to Cedar Point in 2020? Food-wise, attraction-wise, flat rides, roller coasters, what kind of things would you like to see come to Cedar Point in 2020? Because I'm going to be honest, I don't know the history of Cedar Point that well, so I can't really comment on what I would like to see return to Cedar Point, but I'm going to kind of talk about what I would like to see Cedar Point do. So, you can um, probably plan on there being lots of retro stuff hearkening back to our early history, some of it from our history that most of us today remember, so things from maybe the 70s on. We are, of course, planning some big things. The difficult part for us is what is that going to be? Is it going to be a huge attraction, or is it going to be multiple experiences, or is it going to be retro everything? You can probably plan on there being lots of retro stuff hearkening back to our early history, some of it from our history that most of us today remember. So things from maybe the 70s on, maybe some new attractions too. We are planning for that now, but wait, there's more. If you're expecting one giant 800 foot roller coaster, probably not gonna happen. But if you're expecting multiple cool things, that's probably more along the lines of what we're thinking. It's such a big celebration. You can't just celebrate with a roller coaster. It's going to be multiple things and things for everybody in the family. That's really what we're focused on. So those are really interesting quotes. We know that Cedar Fair is going after experiences. We know that Cedar um, Fair and Cedar Point are changing up the way they do things. Roller coasters haven't been working for Cedar Fair lately in terms of Cedar Point. They build these awesome, massive, expensive roller coasters and the attendance isn't increasing the way it should be. Um, so we've noticed from Cedar Fair calls, we've noticed from Cedar Fair interviews, that they're now trying to focus on experiences. And Cedar Point is one of those parks that really does need to kind of up its ante in terms of experiences, and I would like to see that. Um, but in terms of what I would personally like to see Cedar Point do, is step outside their comfort, comfort zone. Um, these Intamins B&Ms are not going to keep pushing the limits at Cedar Point, and I would love to see something new and unique. I think Fly at Fantasia Land would be something I would like to see Cedar Point do. Um, I want to see something unique, something that we don't have in North America. Um, I'm kind of over, you know, these B&M models, and everyone knows I'm a like a huge fan of B&M, and there's no hate on B&M whatsoever, but Cedar Point has so many of those options, and they're just kind of repeat attractions with similar inversions, similar elements, and I want to see something unique that stands out. Again, Cedar Point has this kind of, like, comfort bubble, um... And they kind of never really go outside of it. Steel Vengeance, in my opinion, was the first time that I saw Cedar Point step outside that comfort bubble. Um, and I would like to see them kind of just burst out of that bubble and build something truly unique. Um, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think Cedar Point should really do to kind of step outside their comfort zone? What kind of attractions around the world or not even yet built yet would you like to see at Cedar Point? Um, but that being said, it does sound like Cedar Point is focused on experiences, the 150th anniversary sounds like it's going to be something unique and different. Um, and uh, maybe the 150th anniversary will be celebrated in two years, maybe 2020 and 2021. Um, we have seen them do that in the past, and I wouldn't be shocked or surprised to see that happen again. Anyways, comment down below what you guys think about the 150th anniversary. Do you think it's going to be a coaster? Do you think it's going to be experiences? Do you think it's going to be everything added up? And what do you think you would like to see at Cedar Point for them stepping outside of their comfort zone? Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.